Today I'm going to be reviewing the much maligned Bonneville stock tire, the Pirelli Phantom Sports Comp. These are the ugly little devils right here. Uh, everybody seems to hate them. Um, everybody. Uh, I was foolish enough when I purchased this motorcycle, the stock tires had timed out. They're five years old, which I'm a believer in. If, you're, if your motorcycle tires are five years old, go get a new set. They were hard. Um, they didn't show any signs of checking or anything like that, but they were really hard and just had that look to them. Um, and they were uh, just about down to the wear bars. Or, well, they were past the wear bars, actually. It was, they had about 7,000 miles on them. So I wanted to get the Bonneville experience uh, from the dealership kind of thing. So I changed all the fuel fluids and, and whatnot, and I ever went back to zero on everything, including the tires. I figured I'd, I'd go purchase a set of the stock tires and make my own opinion on what I thought of them. So these are definitely a street tire. They're a street compound. I guess you would call them a sport tire. There's not a whole lot of tread to them. Um, they feel like a very soft compound tire. Um, I didn't put a durometer on them, but um, they have a very street orientated um, tread pattern. I wouldn't call it like a sport bike tire, but maybe like a sport touring tire. They've got these little things that look like the back of a diamondback rattlesnake. Um, and I liked them. I live on a dirt road. I ride dual sport. I ride my Bonneville dual sport. You can see the dust in the tires. Um, I don't go, you know, single track with it or anything like that, but I've been on some 70 mile off-road camping adventures with it. I've been on some dual sport gravel road, two track kind of adventures with it. And these worked pretty well. The sidewalls are medium thick. Um, but they, uh, they did really well. Surprisingly enough for a street tire, they did really well. They did really well on the pavement with a caveat. If you were more than two PSI away from the specified pressures, they, it would handle weird. You would almost have to over counter steer in corners on pavement. You'd have to over steer, over counter steer, um, because it would want to just it would want to just fall in the whole the front tire was really a weird sensation um, sometimes when you really let them get out of spec out of like five psi out of spec um, that front tire when you let let off the gas it would kind of want to push that front tire one way or the other um, and and that was either front or rear if you got them out of spec too much or both out of spec too much you would get that that feeling and I, I guess that's what people are saying when they, they don't care for them because the road manners when they were within a pound of spec, you know, I check my tires every time I go out. Um, they were, they were good on, on pavement. I, I really liked them. I've done some, um, you know, some, some pretty challenging roads. I've done, um, Salt River Canyon. You can look that up Salt River Canyon in Arizona. And I've done, uh, a lot of times people's pass and uh, um, spot white spars, 89 up into Prescott. You can look that up. That's another famous Arizona road. It's not too far from me, so I ride that a lot. And then 89A into Jerome is a very uh, twisty road, and there's, there's ones that I'm not thinking of, but those were the major ones. And uh, road manners with these were, were really good, um, felt good, um, didn't have any, you know, any weird sensations with them. Uh, I even didn't, I, you know, I didn't even rebalance or well, I didn't put new balance weights on them. When I mounted these from the old tires, uh, they still had the wheel weights on the rims and I put them on my home uh, balancer and they were spot on. So I just put them back on with the same wheel weights and didn't have an issue. Um, long distance, um, I've done 700 mile days. I've gone from, uh, just outside of Phoenix, Arizona, probably 50 miles outside of Phoenix, Arizona, to Vegas and back in one day and had no, had no issues with them. So um, I would not count them out. Um, like I said, people really do not seem to like them and, 
if that many people don't like them, I guess they are not good, but I had good experience and that's kind of what I wanted to throw out there and, and Triumph does seem to still fit all their bikes with these tires. Um, the Bonnevilles, especially these, um, these newer generation ones, this is 2017 to 2020, um, have an 18 inch front tire and a 17 inch rear. 17 inch rears aren't too terrible hard to find. The 18 inch fronts are, are a little bit tough to find, but um, these are an option if you can't find anything. These were fairly readily available. I had to order one from one supply house and one from another supply house, but I wouldn't discourage you from, if, you, if your bike has them on there, I wouldn't discourage you from not, um, not riding them out to the end of their life cycle. These I got uh, about 6,000 miles out of, uh, and they're down to the wear bar. Um, I wouldn't tell you to run out and purchase new tires just because everybody hates them, but there must be something to it, and I must ignore things that other people look at. So um, my current set, I did switch away from these because I do so much dirt and dual sport, and I do live, like I said, on a dirt road. Um, I need something with really good um, dirt manner, so I have tried a set of TKC 70s. I put an adventure tire on it, so um, initial thoughts and stuff. Um, I've got a couple videos on, so uh, anyway, um, I wouldn't throw them away. I wouldn't recommend them necessarily, like I said, because of all the other negative reviews. Um, I liked them, I thought they were fair, um, and they weren't horribly expensive. I think I paid um, probably about 500 bucks to my door for, for both of them. So anyway, uh, my thoughts for what it's worth, please comment, subscribe, ding that bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. Like and share. Adios.